43. It has nothing to do with age. After all these years, I still don't know the exact definition of half-life, but it's something from science. It's scientists, they measure the age of something by how long it's been decaying. And they call it the half-life of this. Of, so it, it, it's a way to measure age and time and time passing. I don't think this is a mid-career book. I think it's a book very much its own animal. Um, I used a few pictures from, from the past, but mostly it's uh, built from pictures since the last book was was published and I think it's put together with a kind of logic where everything is connected, what comes before, what comes after, in a kind everything's linked. It's not like a survey book. I think it's it's a it's it's a book that's its own little story and its own voyage. If I put pictures together, I have to build a narration that subverts a narration. It's not linear. Uh, and it's not uh, an essay at all. But I think there's always, there's always a story. I think for me it's important that that story is not explainable. I think I propose something and the viewer can make what they want from it. But I think I, of course, manipulate the viewer a lot with rhythm, with what you put together, with... Uh, a lot of associations and with what you isolate and some books really are a collection of very good photographs and I don't think this is it. I think there's many things in there that serve serve the the whole. And a lot of times it's what two pictures make together that let them be in the book. Otherwise uh, I wouldn't care about the pictures alone. Yes, I'm not very comfortable to be confessional or very obviously autobiographical, but I think that it's important for me to express it in a, in a more mm, mysterious way. My pictures of people I'm very close to and my pictures of people who are strangers to me, they all have the, the same level of... Uh, balance of intimacy and distance. It could be me, it could be my life, but it, it, it's also open. Of course, I mean, uh, for the last 10 years, I've lived more in Europe than in New York, and especially in Poland. The history of the place, of, of Europe, and, and for me specifically Poland, is much more present. You don't feel that in America. If you see something from the 1950s in America, you think, wow, it's, it's, that's historical. You have layers and layers of, of past to dig through. I think those pictures came at a moment of my life when it became harder and harder for me to face people, to, to photograph people. I start to feel more naked than the person I'm looking at. During that period, I was also had to travel a lot between two towns, Katowice and Krakow. I was often just standing by the window and suddenly it, it, the thing that I had not ignored but wasn't really turned on by, I start, I start to feel really, really myself in front of this landscapes, a, a kind of recognition. Every photograph comes from a kind of recognition I recognize myself in what I'm looking at, another person. And this time, this landscape, it just opened to me. And so I started riding the trains of, uh, obsessively. Like this picture of the men taking a shower it was taken a long time ago on my first trip to Poland. A picture ter taken very quickly that I was not supposed to take. That afterwards I told was told to go away. I know that this is a this evokes the Holocaust, but it's men taking a shower. And when I saw them, uh, I didn't think about that. I
No, it's not my purpose to think to make people think about specifically trains going to the camps. In building the book, the purpose is when you look at it is to be taken somewhere, but not not specifically to your death. It's not it's not my place to do that. My intention is not to depress. It's more to uh, not not hypnotize, but to to transform. Of course, there's echoes of history and there's echoes of the of Holocaust, but there's all I want it to be echoes of many things. Of love, also. In working on this layout, in changing the layout, it was always uh, an it was always a struggle to keep a mystery. If the mystery is gone, then it's it's um, then it's lost. When you're first putting it together, the book, it's never strong enough, it's never strong enough, it's never dramatic enough, and then you realize it's, it's melodramatic, it's too dramatic, and you have to, you have to come back and uh, not have every picture be so tragic, and, which is hard for me. You know. I would have liked to have been able to find those kind of changes of rhythm in, in also more various subjects, but I didn't. For me, they are portraits of a very specific type of man that I could never be. In a way, in a simple way, I can say that they all have what I don't have. I, I mean, physically. Any, anybody I would photograph has what I have inside me, but I would never put a self-portrait with that group. Because for me, that those series of portraits are an homage to a kind of man. Of course, the picture of my daughter. But those are two, the diptych.